Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave with one of our friends from Hacksmith. Bogdan, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to be here. A pleasure to see you. Last year, Hacksmith brought a, a lightsaber. <laughs> I love that sentence. You're here to tell me uh, updates about your guys' lightsaber. Yeah, so the lightsaber is something I've been working on for the past year and a half or so. Yeah. And uh, I'm proud to say that near the end of last year, we actually did a first test and the system is actually functioning. It's working so we know to your the, satisfaction. The thermals are working. Uh, we know that the gas flows are all correct. Um, the only concern we had was that the, f the filling process actually takes about four hours. So if you think about every milliliter of liquid oxygen that enters the system, yeah. becomes 860 milliliters of gas, that you have to now vent out fast enough so you don't build pressure and that can rupture the whole system. And so, to do that carefully takes four exactly, hours. Exactly, to make sure that, and the whole thing has to also chill quite slowly. Yeah. So it has to get down to negative 183 degrees Celsius, and that takes about four hours. So the <laughs> last few things we're trying to work out right now is just getting it you know, filled a little bit quicker, yeah. and we're upgrading some of the vent relief valves to actually be able to film with it without having to spend an entire day for one minute of runtime. Fair, fair, that seems reasonable. But uh, yeah, so we got some uh, custom valves on order. Those had a pretty long lead time, so it's had about a three to four month lead time. They're here now, so we're hoping to get back into that in uh, in the future. But in the meantime, I started working on a new project, and yeah. I think some of our fans have seen a couple of episodes. We've been working on building real life Fallout power armor. Oh. So a seven foot tall suit, the whole suit actually opens up from the back, you can step inside of it, it closes up around you, and then inside of the suit, there's actually pressure cuffs, the same you, yep, you'd use yep. for blood pressure, that actually inflate around to actually support your body and hold it in place. Yeah. One of the cool things we actually did is we are using the pressure cuffs with a pressure sensor to determine where you're trying to move your arm. Oh, right, so, so like the alien's power armor, where you move your arm, the power armor moves. Exactly, so with the, the power armor, as you press into the pressure cuff, that can actuate the pneumatic cylinders, yeah. allowing you to curl up to 300 pounds, squat up to 2,000 pounds, and the entire outside of the armor will actually be fully armored with hopefully level 3A armor plating. <laughs> so we actually did some tests recently um, where we were able to fire various calipers at the armor and test what it could stop. And that's a really cool composite. We're 3D printing the geometry, yeah. inlaying Kevlar, and then actually electroplating the entire thing with a company we're partnering with called Integrin in nickel cobalt. Very similar to what you know, cobalt drill bits yeah. use, to plating the entire armor in that to make it super hard, super strong. Yes. Amazing, amazing. So we brought something cool. We couldn't obviously bring the entire power armor. Sure, it's sure. actually standing now. Literally the Tuesday before I came here, um, we got the legs attached yeah. and got the whole thing to open up and stand on its own. Uh, we couldn't bring the whole power armor, but we did bring one of the cool, really intricate parts that you know, we did for it, which is right here. We can actually get this thing powered up. Hopefully it survived travel. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude. May I yeah, of course. touch some parts of it? Oh my So this God. is the smallest part we could bring from the power armor, <laughs> uh, which is the left hand. So, oh, so that is actually the wrist lock. So the actual power armor attaches through this plate right here, right, and the whole thing right. ratchet and rotate around. And as you pull back, that actually locks the wrist. Okay. So if you actually see, there's pressure sensitive yeah. touch fingers there. And if you press it down on those, Oh. oh my god! And then there's the thumb as well. Oh, that is... So there's about 100 pounds of force on there. Right. Currently, there's just nylon parts inside of there. But the goal is we want to be able to curl 300 pounds. Right. So we need a hand that can actually support, you know, 200 pounds or so. On its own. Um, we know, while your, your actual hand is on the inside of the suit, and we needed the wrist to lock so that, you know, if you're carrying something heavy, like a giant Mjolnir, for example, oh, right, yes. you don't break your wrist as it tries to rotate around. Wow. Dude, I love how fast this moves. This is indicative of what the whole suit will weigh. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. It's not gonna be light. The whole suit <laughs> has, uh, already is uh, close to 200 pounds. This is and like And that's 30. without the armor. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you said you're doing 3D printing of these silicone pads. Exactly. So the whole hand is actually laser cut stainless, uh, and then it's all welded together with some of the pneumatics inside. All the uh, decorational pieces are actually 3D printed nylon using our Forum Labs fuse. Lovely. And then the fingertips are 3D printed silicone using our Forum Labs, so we can actually get a little more grip. Is this a Spectra line in there? Um, that is Dyneema. Gotcha. Yeah. Dyneema. I love that so, stuff. So uh, I think the, the Samson is the actual manufacturer of the rope. 
But uh, that each one of those cables will hold about 640 pounds. Yeah. Um, it feels like you could crush my hand if I put my hand in. I'm so, not going to. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is the goal. Not for your hand specifically, but, you know, the goal once this whole design is fully revised is to actually be able to crush things with it. <laughs> Good. And, and be reliable enough so you can just like punch through a brick wall or like, you know, karate chop a uh, cinder brick. So I, what I'm seeing is that you guys will have an all power armor channel. <laughs> like, the, like, like, the, like the hydraulic press channel, there'll be a power armor channel. Yeah, we'll Good. just crush things with our very sophisticated power armor hands. I'm absolutely here for it. Dude, this is beautiful. Oh, I was like wondering what you were going to be able to demonstrate here in the cave. That is incredible. Oh my God. And then this allows you uh, yeah. dynamic positioning. Exactly. Of the wrist. So this entire wrist is on a ratchet. This entire thing can actually rotate. So you use your actual hand when this is mounted gotcha. to rotate the wrist. And then as you pull back to lift something, that locks. So there's actually two pins in there. They go through that bracket. Whole hand stays locked. So as you're trying to lift something, um, you know, it actually doesn't um, break your wrist. Right, right. The whole suit will be able, as I said, curl 300 pounds, squat 2,000. Whole suit will have almost 200 pounds of armoring on it. So yeah. it'll be able to stop, you know, quite large calibers. We're adding water cooling to the inside of the suit, like Thank the goodness. space suits, so yeah, that yeah, you can yeah. actually uh, regulate your body temperature inside of there. We have a heads-up display helmet with an augmented reality headset, night vision, thermal vision, um, Geiger. Uh, Geiger counter, yeah, radiation for the Geiger counter. Are you? Uh, um, is this your? Is, is this your full time gig working on this right now? Pretty much. This is my uh, intermediary between getting back to finishing the lightsaber. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but there, there, there's got to be a, a ten year old version of you inside that is like, you can't believe you're getting to do this every day. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's uh, it's an absolute pleasure. That is thrilling. So many possibilities. Thank you for bringing it here and showing yeah, me. Yeah. Thank you for taking a look and. Uh, yeah, learning more about it. Well, uh, next time you got, when you bring the power armor to San Francisco, we're gonna have to have some fun. Sounds good. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that video. Stickers! We have four brand new sticker packs for sale at adamsavage.com and we have stickers to satisfy everybody in your life. We have right up front a Welcome Maker sticker pack that's got the tested logo, measure once, cut twice, more tested logos, Adam, Welcome Maker, Savage Industries, San Francisco. This is great for the beginning maker to start to dress up their toolboxes. We also have Logo Mojo with just some of our big tested logos and the Katakana logo and some fun stuff. Oh, dude, that is awesome. I hadn't even seen that one before. Okay, Logo Mojo. Then we've got Atomisms. There's always more room on the Z axis. The test it, always be knolling. It's not a problem to solve, it's a process to manage. Oh yeah, this is great. And then finally, we've got Stick Happens, which is for the screw ups. Measure once, curse twice. We've got Adam eating everything in sight. We have Savage Industry logos. Oh yeah, demerit badge for going down the rabbit hole. The worn out tested Katakana logo. Dude, there are stickers here to satisfy every sticker fetish in your life, adamsavage.com. I cannot wait to see in the comments what you have adorned with these stickers. Thank you. Back to your YouTube rabbit holes.